what's it like to just straight up whack them up? You point and shoot, pop, pop, move on. And you do not stop. Training Day scribe David Ayer writes and makes his directing debut with the gritty drama Harsh Times, starring Christian Bale and Freddy Rodriguez, both stuck in their own ways to the gang mentality in South Central Los Angeles. David is no stranger to the streets and admits that much of the story is based on his own personal experiences dealing with his own harsh times. Christian Bale's character is... is sort of a rough version of my dark side with at high volume, high intensity. Uh, you know, a military veteran from South Central LA, know the streets, uh, have done a lot of things that the character does in the movie, except for like running around whacking people, I never did any of that, you know, but... What'd you do? Uh, you know, hanging out in the streets, chasing girls, you know, getting schwacked, uh, all that good stuff. I'm going to be dead. Honestly, I associate it with a lot of gang members. You know? mm -hmm. But if you live in that neighborhood, it comes with the territory. It's automatic. You know, I wasn't going to lock myself in my house all day. Air wrote the screenplay in his 20s as a direct reflection of his own anger after he was honorably discharged from the United States Navy. It leaves a stamp on you, you know, same with Vietnam guys, World War II guys, you know, everyone talks about how well they adjusted. No, that, that's not true. <laughs> they just hit it better. No one talked about it. Um, you know, all the guys I grew up with in my neighborhood, their dads were all in Vietnam. And so they had to deal with that. You know, oh, dude, dad's drunk again, crawling around the front yard of the bushes, screaming about Charlie. You know, that, that was like par for the course in my neighborhood. And now all the guys I grew up with are going to war and coming back in the next generation. In the film, Christian Bale is back from his tour of duty in Iraq and slowly loses his mind, remembering all the senseless killings he committed. David was also affected by his neighbors whose fathers went off to fight in Vietnam and came back shell-shocked. Uh, I, I, I was lost. I was, um, you know, I was like in the Cold War, you know, and so it was like, like the evil commies and, and did the, the, the duck and cover drills in school and I was kind of like indoctrinated in that way. And then the wall falls and all of a sudden it's like, okay guys, go home. That's cool. Bye. And, you know, you have a mentality like you're, you're going to die in combat, and then when it doesn't happen, it's like, oh, gee, now I've got to live the rest of my life? Oh, what am I going to do now? So you, you can get really lost, you know, and so uh, I went back to the streets. A lot of guys do. Next, David will direct Mafia Cop based on New York's finest Lou Epolito and Stephen Caracopa, who were accused of being associated with the mob. Harsh Times opens Friday in theaters. Man. Like my brother. You're all I got. Jeff!